Hi guys, it's me Megan Hashem and today I'm talking about how you treat yourself. How do you treat yourself? I think a lot of the times we treat ourselves like our worst enemies and that doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help you, it doesn't help the people around you, definitely. It just isn't a good thing. And even your closest people, how do you treat them? How are you treating them? Because often our closest people, our spouses, our children, our best, best family and best friends, we sometimes treat them worse than we treat strangers and it's so wrong. Obviously, be nice to strangers, but wouldn't you rather be a little like, eh, to strangers than to your like husband or wife or child or bestie? I mean, those are the people you need to cherish and show them that they mean the world to you. Usually it goes, strangers seem to get the best treatment really close friends and family get the second best treatment and we usually get the worst treatment to ourselves. So I wanna reverse that, right? Reverse that up. It should be you. You get the best treatment from yourself. You need to give yourself the best treatment in order to be able to give other people good vibes, good support, good love, all that stuff. So first you need to love you, tell yourself beautiful things, encourage yourself, don't put yourself down all the time. I think we put ourselves down a lot throughout the day, throughout our lives, and this is something we have to stop. And I know you hear it all the time, you know, love yourself, tell yourself, but I wanna really hit home here. I want you to understand, if you can't love yourself, and give yourself all the nourishment you need, you are incapable of doing it for other people in a, a proper way, in a great way, in a, a terrific supportive way. So start with yourself, start with yourself. Are you telling yourself amazing things? Are you saying, you go girl, you do that? Or yes man, you can do that. You need to tell yourself you can do it even if you don't believe it. Believe it, you will believe it if you keep telling yourself that. Even if it's a little thing, say you ate really healthy for even one meal, even one meal. Pat yourself on the back and be like, that's awesome, you didn't have Timbits for breakfast, you had some eggs. Good on you, you did that. Even if it's not perfect, congratulate yourself. Realize that was a challenge, even a small thing. It might have been a huge challenge for you. You said goodbye, you passed all the bad food and you had your eggs and oats. That is a success right there and we wanna celebrate all the small successes. This is how you start congratulating yourself and loving yourself. Start realizing all the small things you're doing that are amazing. Are you a stay-at-home mom? I'm often pretty much a stay-at-home mom and I often don't realize everything I do. And these are the things that we need to realize, like, oh my gosh, I'm raising a human or two or three or four, whatever you're doing. I'm making food, I'm cleaning the house, I'm doing the laundry, I'm keeping this family running. Maybe all these little things seem like nothing, but think about what would happen if you weren't doing those things, right? Same thing goes for all your weight loss and fitness things you're doing, okay? So say you wanna lose 10 pounds and you've only lost two. That's amazing. Two pounds is amazing. Okay, congratulate yourself. Jump up and down. Tell people, like, be excited. Say, way to go, you did that. And that's gonna spur you on to do more. If you tell yourself, oh, two pounds is nothing, that sucks. Like, oh well, I can't, I'm not doing well. I only lost two pounds in whatever, two weeks, let's say. Maybe that seems sucky to you. Maybe that isn't exciting. It's not like 10 pounds. You don't look really different. You lost two pounds though, yay. Now continue, right? Don't let that be a setback where you say, I only lost two pounds. Ugh. Now I'm, I'm gonna eat some bad foods and not exercise. I mean, don't. Congratulate yourself. I mean, that two pounds is better than gaining two pounds or not doing anything at all. So think about it that way. Love yourself. Love your reflection in the mirror. Look in the mirror and tell yourself. I mean, I've spoken about this a lot in my book, Loving Yourself Fit, and in many videos. I've discussed loving your reflection. So maybe you feel there's some things you'd like to change, and that's fine. We can all feel there's some things we'd like to improve on or whatever, but that's not hate. That's improvement. That's goals. That's thinking about 
what our ultimate everything is, but inside that you need to love yourself. You can't be like, I hate myself and that's why I wanna change. It's never gonna work that way and that's why so many people have trouble because it's all coming from a place of hate and disgust and all that bad emotion. We need to start feeling amazing about ourselves. Even as we are right now, are you sitting there thinking, but I wanna change this and I wanna change this, I don't like my hair, I need to lose 20 pounds, I'm getting wrinkles on my forehead. I relate, I understand, but we need to stop that. Look in the mirror and be like, look at all this amazingness though. And, and there's a huge, amazing base for whatever I wanna do to myself. I mean, we can lose that weight, we can fix our hair, we can, I don't know what we can do about wrinkles, still working on that. <laughs> we can learn to love how we are as we are, and then, you know, enhance and do whatever we wanna do. But it has to come from love. If you start trying to enhance and lose weight and do all these good for you things from a place of hate, it won't last or it won't happen and you'll never be satisfied. You'll just always be in a negative spot. So we need to love ourselves. Tell ourselves, you're awesome. Wake up and be like, you're amazing. You're doing a lot. No matter what you do, you probably are amazing at some stuff. So think about those things you're amazing at. What is your best asset physically? And just then applaud that. Oh my gosh, I love my shoulders. Oh my gosh, my hair is amazing. Oh, wow, look at my tiny waist. These are things you can think about. Figure it out, what is your best asset? And if you're unsure, ask people you love around you, what do you think is my best asset? And then think about it and be like, wow, yeah, that is really awesome, oh my gosh, like, wow. Anyways, I think we don't do that often. Same goes for your loved ones. Do you compliment them ever? Do you tell them what you love about them in so many ways? This is important. We tell strangers and just kind of random friends nice things, right? Like, oh wow, I love your this, I love your that, you're so this, you should do this. But do we tell our loved ones all those things or do we just nag them with the negative? Think about all the negative things you say to people because I know I do it and I'm a pretty positive person. I still go on about, no, oh, you this, you that, you didn't do this, you, you know, kids, husbands, all that stuff. Think about all the positive that these people do and try and bring that up also, right? I'm not saying never say a negative thing again, but think about all the positives because usually the positives outweigh the negatives. And if they don't, I don't know, you might be hanging with, with the wrong people or your brain might not be finding the positives. So let your brain find those positives. As soon as you start loving yourself more and finding all the positives in yourself, I think it bleeds over into everything. It bleeds over into all your close relationships and your life in general, looking at the world. Do you look at the world in a positive light or a negative light generally? Do you walk outside and think, oh, it's snowy, it's so ugly, it's cold. Okay, I relate, I sometimes do that. Although more and more these days, I'm thinking, wow look at the beautiful snow we can play in we can make snowmen it's hockey season we can play it's beautiful or we can stay inside and just look at the beauty we don't have to go out in that freezing cold every minute we could just look out see the beautiful snow falling and be happy with that enjoy the season have a hot chocolate sit back and relax same goes for I don't know things like your house or you know your pet Things like that, people negatively, oh, that's so annoying, my dog this, my dog that. Yeah, but then you can look over at it and be like, wow, that is the cutest thing in my life right now. I don't care that it needs to go to the washroom every hour or something. You know, whatever the issue is, or it peed on my bed, or whatever it is, look how cute it is. I'm gonna try and fix those problems, but look how cute it is and look how much amazingness it brings to my life. It just makes me happy looking at it. Same goes for your kids, your spouse, the weather, the world around you. Looking through rose colored glasses really helps you. It helps the people around you. You're gonna feel amazing about life, you know? Open up the windows and let the light shine in. And speaking of that, I'm gonna do a video on that. Just a few little things around the house that you can do to feel amazing every morning or every day. If you're feeling kinda low, 
and you're like, oh, it's a little dark, and you're like, eh, I don't feel so great. I'm gonna make a video about a bunch of little things, little tiny actions you can take to kind of feel like, woo, I feel so good. You know, putting on some awesome music, opening the windows, dancing around the house, all those fun little things. I will make a video on all those things and how I implement them into my life almost every day. But until then, just, Love yourself. It is that simple, but it's also difficult, right? It's simple, love yourself. But then you're like, okay, on a regular basis in my day, how do I implement this, right? One simple way is waking up, looking in the mirror, figuring out what you love, what are you feeling? It doesn't have to be physical. It could be something you're doing. It could be an attitude. It could be exercise you're doing. It could be your work stuff. It could be your family stuff. What do you love about you right now? And just tell yourself that. Find three things each day to be like, I am awesome because of this. It might be, wow, I have awesome hair today. It might be, wow, I'm raising this family amazingly. And it doesn't have to be that you're the perfect mom or you have the perfect body or you're the perfect wife or whatever. Just think about the little things that you do that are amazing, because there's a lot of them, trust me. Think about what you would tell your best friend. What would you tell your best friend if they said, oh, I have nothing's right, I don't do anything right. Think of all the things you could tell them that's amazing about them. Now pretend you're your best friend. What would you tell yourself? That's a good question. So you're feeling down, you're like, mm, I don't know, I, I'm, uh. Now what would you tell yourself? What are all the affirming, amazing, things you would tell yourself about you. Write down a list. Let me know some in the comments below. I wanna know, like I'm gonna think of mine. You guys think of yours. What would you tell yourself if you wanted to make yourself feel good? And that's what you should tell yourself every morning, every day, as you go through the day, keep reaffirming those things, right? So what would you tell yourself? Do it. All right, hope you like this video. I hope I didn't ramble too much for you guys. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other fitness stuff, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you soon, right? Bye.